morning and happy new year everybody welcome to monday first week of jan i thought i'd do a little get ready with me catch up but first let's make some coffee Which mug am i going to use today i think i'm going to use my new moomin mug that i got from a sister for christmas size mug is perfect for double espressos which i normally have and just top up with milk Just waiting for my milk to whiz up in the Arachino. I'm using this Rude Health um, almond milk and it's absolutely amazing. The oats is nice as well, but what I like about it is it's got some sweetness to it. So it's just like perfection. I'm wearing my new Sweaty Betty outfit that I got for Christmas. Oh my God, I absolutely love it. Look at these leggings, aren't they fab? I just feel like a completely new person and technically, I know it's the 4th of January, but I'm going to call it the 1st of January because it's Monday. So I just feel like it's Monday, it's the new year, I've saved this for the new year. So, okay, the milk's ready. Right, there we all are now. Oh, that was a palaver, wasn't it? It's always a palaver to set up the camera and everything. Oh, that is the best. That is the best, that double espresso chiaro. I think that's the only one. I mean, I know I like the Christmas ones as well, but I, this one for all year round is perfect. It's the perfect size. So I don't want a massive big tub of coffee. Um, I like these little ones. Do you mind? Mm. So, did we all have a good Christmas? How are you? How was it? Was it different for you this year? I guess it was different for all of us. Um, because we're all, in, well, I'm in tier four. Um, most of us are in tier four, so you can't really do much. Have you taken your Christmas tree down yet? Is that, when do you leave yours up till? Took ours down yesterday, Sunday, because for me, after New Year, I want it out. Like I woke up Sunday, I was like, I want this stuff out now. Um, and it's such a bugger to do, isn't it? Oh God, I should be doing my makeup while, while I'm talking. Otherwise we'll be here all day. It's such a bugger to do, isn't it? Especially if you've got a real Christmas tree and all the um, needles fall out all over the place. I need to wet my sponge, hang on. Yeah, the buggering needles. God, it's everywhere. And it doesn't matter how cleverly you hoover up, there's always needles. And now the car's full of needles and I've got needles up my backside. It's just like... And every year you're like, that's it. I'm never getting a real tree again but then you get a real tree. But anyway, I like to just get things out. I'm not a huge fan of New Year's Eve itself. Like, it actually makes me really anxious. Even the countdown, I can't bear it. <laughs> it just, I just don't like it. I don't, I don't, I just rather just go to bed at 8 p.m. and wake up the next day. I do, however, love New Year's Day. A brand new um, day and the walk. I'm gonna use my Bare Minerals today. I've been using this every day and I just love it. But I'm gonna use Fairly Light today because I feel like, you know, I should. Um, you know, the, the, the outlook of a, a, a brand new year and going for that first walk, um, I just love it. So New Year's Eve for me, I've never liked it. And I've, I've done all the going out, everyone. You know, I've done that, done that, been there, overpriced drinks and bars and too many people can't do it anymore. I can't, I can't do loud noises. I can't do crowded. Um... Oh, actually I was gonna put some, goodness shaz. I was gonna put some of this on for a bit of, um, a bit of glow. Um, I just, I just, I just hate it actually. <laughs> New Year's Eve, I hate it. I just like to be at home in my pajamas on the sofa with snacks. And that is it. So, yeah. But it's like that, isn't it? You know, it's just kind of... Now I'm going to rub this in with my fingers. Mm, is it going to make a mess? Or should we just sponge it in? Yeah, let's just sponge it in. 
Yeah, what do you think? What are you? Are you a New Year's Eve kind of person? Do you like that? Or do you like Christmas more? Or, um, But like Christmas, I love Christmas Eve. I find Christmas Eve the most exciting of Christmas. Um, you know, and we, we always have, we always go for breakfast somewhere nice and, you know, the day's lovely and you get like festive hot chalk and, okay, yes, I know I've had a festive hot chalk every day in December. It's, I'm literally off them now. Um, but this whole thing of like, especially now we're all locked down, it's this being able to just go for a walk or go to the coffee shop Something as simple as going to the coffee shop is, I don't want to say life-changing, but it's a really nice ritual and I love it. And you get that little bit of human interaction and it's just nice, you know? So yes, let's talk about New Year's. So I think we're all sort of like, I know I'm rambling because I've got so much to say. I get so like, why is it in January? It's like, all right, healthy eating, exercise, and every advert's about exercise, you know, and everything is about healthy eating. Well, in, in, in essence, you should be doing that throughout the year, not just January. Do you know what I mean? Like, you should be doing, and if you're doing that all year, like, you know, eating relatively healthy, doing a bit of exercise, then you're fine and you've not got that pressure. I cannot stand to be pressured in anything. I just can't bear it. And the minute I feel like I'm being pressured or I'm being told to do something, I'm like completely anti. I just don't like it. It's just, it's like I'm not a competitive person either. I'm not competitive. I don't, I don't want to challenge myself. You know, I, everyone has different challenges that they have to face, you know? And my kind of thing is like, I want to carry on doing what I'm doing, growing my channel, obviously, um, dealing with my anxiety, you know, um, and making more effort to interact with my f people that I know, my friends, you know what I mean? When we can all do that again, it puts things into perspective, you know, just before lockdown, I had breakfast with one of my friends and it was just so nice. And you really realise the importance of um, friendship, and all this is a good colour, you know, and interactions, do you know what I mean? So that's what I'm about and new year, new you and all of that, oh, sod it, no thanks. I, I, I'll stay how I am, thank you very much. We can all, we all do what we can, the best we can. And if that's going for a walk every day or not every day or, you know, just something that's for you is important. So you may think, oh, I really need to, um, I really want to get out more and go have some more fresh air and go for walks. And then you can start doing 10 minute walk to the corner shop or the coffee shop or, you know, but this whole thing of like, oh, you know, and we have a Peloton and I know I'm supposed to be doing it, but you know what really annoys me? So you can choose your instructors, which is good, but some of the instructors just really get on my nerves. Like, there's one of them, she shouts, and I can hear it when my boyfriend does it, she shouts, she's like, come on, you know, we're here together, make it, make your mark, or we're, we've come here to, to, to do this or do that, and I'm just like, okay, you're shouting? Stop shouting, okay? I'll decide how much I'm doing, goodness, okay? I'm like, can you just get me someone that doesn't shout, and you know, just like, just like, that's it, you're, you're doing well, keep on going, do your best. <laughs> That's how I work, you know? I don't work with, um, you know, extreme dinghies. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention, I've seen a lot of um, other YouTubers, big YouTubers say, you know, I've spoken about this a lot in my videos about um, self-help and all of this and toxic positivity. Don't get me started on this because I, I, I couldn't stand it then and I can't stand it now. You know, we're, we're all human and we have a myriad of feelings and thoughts. And I think this idea of not allowing yourself to feel something and covering it up with positivity leads to it coming out in other ways and suppressing it. You know, I, I was watching this one girl and she was like, oh, 
talking about this year, okay? And then she's like, oh, no, 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 positive, positive realization or positive visualization. No, nope, no, nope, it's fine. You know, and I'm like, why, why are you doing that? Why can't you accept yes, whatever has been difficult for you? Yes, I'm feeling a bit shit, but I'm going to make the most of it and I'm going to, you know, or I'm going to have a, a coffee and I'm going to, but to kind of like, pay, no, no, I'm not going to feel this. It just drives me nuts. Um, and also, I think, you know, these people that have written these books, okay, this is like, for me, it's the biggest money, money maker, I won't say scam, but that there is. Because who are they to tell you how you should be feeling each day and what you should be doing? I... You, you cannot tell me what to do. I can't stand it, okay? Now, and there's a lot of these um, self-helps, miracle mornings. If you love that, great. But you've got to understand that not everybody is a morning person. Maybe their creativity and productivity start later on. So doing this miracle morning, I know the book, I've read it and no. And she was like, oh, you know, I'm getting up and it's difficult. But by 2 p.m. I'm really, really tired. And by 6 p.m. I'm really tired. Right, so what's the point of getting up so early just to sit there and do nothing and sit there and meditate? And, and you know, what's the point? Like you have to adapt things to your day and to your environment. And that's why I'm just so anti these books because I just think it's a load of, a load of, baloney do you know what I mean everyone has different thoughts different feelings that's like saying to somebody who has depression come on think positive if you think positive you'll change your life positive vi visualization vision board that it doesn't work for somebody who's depressive so I really would steer clear of these books and trust me I've read them all okay um they're not helpful if you are struggling with something serious then you need to see a clinical psychologist a lot of these books are not even written by um doctors or psychologists they're just people that think they you know they know they think they've got an answer but it just it really rubs me the wrong way okay it really really does um so that's what i'm saying don't don't you don't only change what you want to change go at your own pace do what you want to do Throw those bloody books out the window because you don't need them, okay? Make yourself a cup of coffee. <laughs> I'm actually going to go over with Mineral Veil. This is the Tinted Hydrating Mineral Veil, which I have not used in ages. And I thought today I'm going to use it because I'm using the lighter shade of foundation. And what this does, it just... sets your makeup but it also gives it a bit of a glow and a bit more color so there we are oh that's nice isn't it i think doing my makeup down here is a lot better because a i'm sitting in front of the window so i've got no ring lights on at the moment you can see it just in front of the window look how amazing that bare minerals is um and also I'm not turning to the side. I've watched some of my videos where I'm doing makeup and I'm, I'm turning to the side and I annoy myself. So I bet that annoys you as well. Okay, let's go in with some bronzer. I'm going to go in with Hourglass. Oh, I love this. What did you get for Christmas? Did you get any, any did Father Christmas bring you everything you wanted? I actually don't like that question. You know, people go, what did you get for Christmas? And you, and you, and you, you know, when you were little and your relatives used to go, what did you get for Christmas? And you'd have to sit there and go, well, you know, I got this and this and this and this. Maybe you don't want to say, you know? This nice pinky blush. Now, do I want to buy makeup this year? Do I want, is there anything that I want? few things I kind of make little lists I'm going to use this is MAC paint pot in groundwork um I actually I tell you what I want I want to get some um try some Victoria Beckham so I've never tried Victoria Beckham stuff and I've seen um that she's got some really nice 
um, eye sparkly stuff, like, like I need more eye stuff. Like, but come on, this is this is what I do, you know? Some people collect stamps. <laughs> um, so I'd like to try that. And she's got some really nice lipsticks as well, which I haven't tried. And I want to kind of, you know when you're like, you want to change up your look a bit, you know what I mean? Um, don't ask me about my hair. I have no idea what I'm going to do with my hair. I'm avoiding my January. What I, do, what I do every January, I go wild, I go and get a full head of highlights and I cut my hair really short and then I hate it. But I've now seen so many people who've had like really long brown hair, cut their hair short into like a bob, um, make it blonde or just cutting it short. And I'm like, oh. but I know I'm not gonna like it if I do it. I know it. But then I'm like, I want, I want like a, I need to, I feel like I need to change, but, and then I always imagine to myself, yeah, I want to be really blonde um, and all of that. But, oh, I forgot to show you this. This is um, a Max Factor concealer and my mum had it and I was like, oh my God. And I was doing a makeup and I was like, that is amazing. And I got it, um, but I got the shade too light um, because for some reason I didn't understand the shading system. <laughs> <laughs> I got a shade 020 and I should have get, got shade 030, but I didn't know it meant like one, two, three. Anyway, sometimes I mix it with the um, Tarte Shape Tape. But what I love about this is that it just sets, you don't need to set it with powder. So, so that's that. Let's do some eyebrows. I've literally just lost my train of, train of thought now. I can't remember. Oh, what was I saying? Changing my oh yeah. Um, you know, I just I, I want something a bit different. And I have this idea that, you know, when it's blonde, I really like it, and that I always imagine, oh my god, I'm gonna be so confident. Oh my goodness, but then I don't tend to like it. So I quite like my hair's got quite long actually. I quite like it kind of wild and I like the roots, but I'm tempted every single year. Honestly, I'm like itching. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Bare Minerals Strength and Length. I love this. This has like a lash conditioner in it and it's got the most amazing brush. It's like a paddle. So you literally scoop your eyelashes and it just, I've been using it on my bottom lashes and it's made my bottom lashes just incredible and I love it especially for every day. So you use the paddle, almost like a spoon, to push up the lashes, and then use the edges, the spiky bits, to just comb through. It's actually really good on the bottom lashes as well. It's actually amazing. And this is great if you wanna layer with other mascaras. So you can put this on first and get a really nice um, conditioning formula on your lashes before you use a, a different kind of mascara on top. So sometimes I layer this with the Bad Gal Bang or the Too Faced one, you know. I'm actually all about the kind of, you know, that lived in makeup look at the moment. I just like it lived in. Don't like feeling overdone. Okay, I'm gonna go in with lip liner. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Pink Venus. Sounds ominous, doesn't it? And I like this because it's just a nice... Also, are your lips like just dry, so dry? I can't even wear anything because they're just so dry. So I kind of reach for um, really hydrating formulas. And this is what I've been doing. I've been just lining with this. And then just topping off with the Fenty Gloss Bomb. Is it a Gloss Bomb? In Fussy. And this is surprisingly moisturising. Like, I mean, and I just use that on top. It smells like... You know, there's vintage sweets. 
like um, fruit salad or something. And that's it. There you have it. That's what I've been doing. That's my everyday face. It's simple, it's quick, it looks really good in person. It looks good on pictures. It just looks fresh and natural and I love it. And I'm so glad to be back. I'm so excited to see you all. Thank you for all my new subscribers who have come in. Oh my goodness, you've made my year. Please subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. And give me a thumbs up and tell me a comment. And um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.